Oh, great. And it went live the wrong direction. Okay. Wonderful. Wonderful. Facebook has become so easy to use. So freaking easy to use. So, sorry guys if anybody's there. Um, usually I go into my event and I can just click on it and I can go live. But Facebook didn't let me just go live. And now I have my phone upright because I was trying to figure it out. And this is not, not what I intended. So yeah, I don't know what's going on. It's irritating and frustrating and I don't like that Facebook is changing everything. If I have a routine, Facebook, you screwed me over. Now I'm all flustered, so I do apologize. I don't know. I tried to do my usual thing where I go in my event and I click go live and it wouldn't let me do that and I kept trying to figure it out and I spent like six minutes I'm sitting out here poking around on my phone trying to figure out how to go live because I have an event scheduled and we're supposed to go live in my event and I can't figure it out and it was very very frustrating and I'm still frustrated. Stupid Facebook. I don't know. They're changing stuff. I can't find things. Like it popped me out of my uh, black sheep account put me in my individual account when I was trying to be in the black sheep account so I could go live because it wouldn't let me go live in my individual account. I don't know. It's very frustrating. And now it's upright instead of being horizontal like I usually do for these videos. So I apologize mm -hmm. because, you know, this, that, this is not how I usually talk to you guys. Sorry, totally threw me off my game because I couldn't get into my event. Now my hair looks awful because I was fussing with that. Oh, well. Anyway, hey, how's it going, people? I hope your day is going better than mine is at the moment. Mm -hmm. Stupid Facebook making everything so difficult. So, yeah, I'm outside because it's bright and it's sunny. And I was like, I'm just going to be, you know, out here doing my thing. <laughs> and, um, and I have you know, one, a stick shuttle all loaded up and, and I have the, let me turn this around. Um, I have my weaving started and, um, it's a little open, which I kind of anticipated because it is supposed to be a shawl. This is not supposed to be a towel. So it's lighter use, not hard use. Um, but I do kind of like the stripe pattern. I think it looks decent. Um, my edges are not as hideous as the first one. You know, they, I could I could improve them, but they're not as hideous as the first one. Um, so I definitely see improvement there. I see improvement in my beading. I've also discovered that um, I have issues with my with my strength, and I seem to be stronger with my left arm and my right hand. If that makes sense. And so when I'm weaving back and forth, I have issues because um, I try to put, you know, not enough thread on the right side and then I beat too hard on the left instead of being even. And and anyway, I but at least I know this about myself. And I do apologize if my camera wobbles a little bit. I'm trying to fix that. Hang on. Let me see if I can tighten it a little bit more and maybe it will, maybe it will cooperate. I just, it's just been a day. It's been such a day. Oh, wonderful. Now the dog's barking at the cat. Boy, it's been a day, I tell you what. All kinds of fun things going on. Oh, uh, let's see. So, sorry, I'm totally thrown off my game. What do I need to talk to you guys about? Year of self-care. Don't forget, year of self-care is still happening. And come here, Charlie. You're just harassing the dog. Kitty, 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 kitty. Come here. Come here. Quit harassing the dog. She's just going to bark until you stop. Come here. Sorry, the outside kitty. My mouser extraordinaire uh, Mr. Charlie is out here with me and he sets off the dog I don't know she's just never really taken a liking to him dogs and cats what can I say anyway year of self-care boy I just can't remember anything today year of self-care is still going on uh, don't forget to take your photos or your videos and post those to pretty much any social media so long as you tag black sheep and we can find you so Facebook Instagram TikTok, YouTube uh, wherever you need to post, just post and tag Black Sheep so that we can find you and know that you've entered the year of self-care. Um, I have done like almost no tatting and I have done no sewing. 
I have been completely consumed with knitting and weaving, and so I clearly need to uh, get my button gear and get a little something done uh, this week. Let's see. Oh, my crown popped off. So remember I had all that dental work in like January, February? Yeah, my crown. My brand new crown popped off whole. whole thing just came off. And, um... Abby, that's enough. Hang on, I'm going to go throw a, a treat to the dog so she stops barking in the back of the video. Come on. about that. Gotta love those barking dogs. Yeah, anyway, that was fun, wasn't it? Boy, I should really just start this live over. It's just all kinds of, you know, all kinds of mess. Anyway, whatever. Okay, yeah, what was I saying? Your self-care videos, TikTok, tatting, um, sewing, haven't really done any of that. I've just been weaving and knitting and uh, working on slow crawl stuff because I have a bunch of that that I have to get done. And, uh, yeah, yeah. And then there's the blue caterpillar shawlette, um, which I was going to bring down and show you people, and clearly I forgot, but I'm not going back in for it now. Um, but don't forget, we do have the second blue caterpillar shawlette uh, video tomorrow, so that'll be fun. Um, I'm moving out of stripe two and into chart three, so we're going to talk about chart three and what to expect there. Um, and then, yes, my crown popped off. So next week I will not be here on Wednesday because my entire crown on this side went and just popped off, like just popped, I was eating um, a piece of bagel, like I had bit off a piece of bagel, it wasn't even a big piece of bagel, and yeah, my crown popped off, just bloop, there it went, so anyway, I, uh, I have to go get that fixed, so next Wednesday, I'm getting my crown fixed, and then the Monday after that, I'll be gone, um, because I'll be driving back from my parents, I'm taking Ina up to visit her, her uh, cousins, and her grandparents, and her aunt and her uncle, um, since, you know, it's been like five or six months since we've seen them and, um, well, and we've all had COVID here, so might as well, uh, go see people. Um, but yeah, yeah, that, that's kind of what's going on there. So I will be on next Monday and then a week from Wednesday and I'll put the events back up on Facebook and hopefully tomorrow I can figure out the event thing that did not want to happen properly today because I don't know what I was clicking but it was not good um, at all like at all so anyway today we are we're weaving and I'm just plain weaving these stripes and I'm having a little fun with the man cotton and I'm like I just decided I was pretty much just gonna put white in so I've just loaded up a bunch of white and put that on my shuttle and I've also discovered that I really like to put my belly right up against the uh, front beam and um, and I like to put my feet on um, the bottom on the stand um, on the bar at the bottom of my stand because I don't know that's just what feels good to me while I'm weaving so that's what I've been doing and uh, I don't know if I'm in a I'm in an upshed yeah, I'm in an upshed. So, um, yeah, let's talk about some weaving thingy gummers that are kind of important. Like, uh, when you go to start a new shuttle of a yarn, one of the things that you want to do is make sure that your tails are on opposite edges. So, uh, that way you don't get, like, a big old bump. So, like, I finished off my last shuttle here, which means that I'll put the tail for this one is my tail right now but the tail for this one over here when I weave it in because that way you don't get a big lump there so you don't want to you don't want to stop in the middle of a row when you're weaving you always want to do it on the edges um, so that's that's kind of an important thing um, which I don't know if new weavers think about that or or consider it but it's something that I was definitely taught when I was weaving on the floor loom and it's something that has translated into my uh, rigid heddle weaving as well and then there I'll put my put my end in on this side and then throw my stick shuttle back whoop sorry I hit you guys back across um it's just a day it is just a day to have all kinds of boo-boos and messes and 
anyway. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's, it's just, that's what the day is. So, anyway. Um, let me put this in neutral. Another thing is, I've noticed that I have to tighten up my work a little bit more with the cotton than I had to do with the tencel. And, um, I don't know if the cotton's just stretching a little more, or if the tencel wasn't. I don't know. Who knows? Um, yeah. I'm not sure. But anyway, I am, uh, ooh, I didn't beat that evenly. That's another thing. I'm trying not to beat twice. I'm trying to uh, only beat once and go, beat once and go, and just be done with it. Um, and, and attempt, boy, I'm just going to keep smacking my camera. And an attempt to um, even out my beating, which was working, but it's been a few days since I have done any weaving, and clearly I have lost my rhythm. Oh well. It always takes me a little bit to get back into gosh, I'm just going to keep doing this, into my rhythm as well, um, when I'm weaving. I don't think you guys can even see what I'm doing. Let me, uh, there, put it back a little further. Um, so here's my issue, is that when I've been making this side, I try to pull this little loop a little too tight, and then when I pull that too tight, it pulls my edges in, and so then my edges aren't as nice. But if you leave it too loose, then you get icky ucky loops along the edge, so there's like this fine line between too much and not enough. Okay, that was all right. That was fabulous, but it was all right. Um, and I have the same thing on the other edge. I have to make sure that, you know, my loop is enough, but not too much. But I don't seem to have as much of a problem. Like, I can hold it with this hand and pull, and it seems to be just right when I angle my thread up. But this edge, this edge I have problems with. And you can see, like, here I am, I'm looking and looking at this and looking at my hands and trying to beat evenly. That was a that was better. But I can still see that I'm trying to float up to this side a little bit. So I think what I'll do is I'm gonna tilt my loom in a little more on one side. I don't know, maybe I don't have it parallel. What do you guys think? Am I like not working it parallel? You know, is that my problem? Like I've got my I don't know. <laughs> I'm not an expert at this. I make a lot of mistakes. But I am having fun with it. Um, and I've joined some, like, Rigid Heddle Weaving groups on Facebook. And I've been watching some videos and kind of trying to vaguely remember my weaving uh, at college. And what I do there. Um, so, I don't know. My weaving teacher would probably... Actually, she'd probably look at it and say it, it was fine and just keep working at it because it takes practice to get better. I loved my weaving teacher. She was a really nice gal. Um, she had these really interesting, like, computer Dobby Loom portrait type weavings because she was an artist. I mean, she was a weaver, but she was an artist artist. And she would do, like, black and white portraits with threads and weaving and she was amazing. Anyway. So, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see what happens, man. I just keep cruising along here and hoping that, uh, oh, of course. And I have a thread that broke in this one. So, I've really got to do something about that. Okay, I'll do it in a minute. Because I have none of my stuff out here to fix it. Let's get you is a hazard. I had one single strand of my three ply that broke. Probably should have just replaced the whole thing, but I decided I was just gonna, I can't even get it. Can't fuss with it. All right, we're not gonna worry about it. I'll fix it in a little bit. Um, so it's creating, I'll show you, it's creating this, uh, let's see, is it, uh, it's creating this little bubble right here. It's not supposed to be doing that. This is a thread that broke that I thought that I had pulled through and fixed, and clearly I have not. So hopefully now I've got enough of this coil built up that I can pull that strand through, tie it in, and fix it. Uh, what I should have done is I should have just replaced the entire strand of yarn when it happened, but I totally didn't get that done. So, you know, whatever, it's fine. And here you can see, look, I am not perfect. See this? Totally not perfect. As I'm like talking to you guys and weaving, I'm pulling this too tight and, 
you know, I'm not perfect. But the important thing is that, you know, I'm learning and I'm practicing and it'll get better. But here's my point about putting the tails in on opposite sides. That way you don't get a lot of buildup in one spot along the edge so that hopefully it stays more even. And see, I didn't beat this very well because it's not as even as the rest of this. Oh, it's the little things, but I'm getting better. And that's really the important thing. But until I can fix that one thread that has popped loose, anybody have questions about weaving or spinning or knitting or what the plan is for the next few weeks? Um, I can show you the duckies. <laughs> Here's the duckies. They're out here with me. I don't know. See my duck ducks? There's the duckies. They're hanging out in the yard. And uh, yeah, there they are. Hanging out. I like watching my ducks. It's part of why I like weaving outside too is I can watch my ducks and, and enjoy spending time outside. Um, I like it better when Ina runs around and plays outside while I'm weaving because, you know, that keeps her busy. Oh, what else do I need to tell you guys? Um, I don't know. That Like, my video not starting when it was supposed to because the event thing didn't work right just totally threw me off today. Threw me off today. I've been working on a bunch of email, I've been trying to catch up with that because I have a bunch of emails backed up on my personal account, the shop account, uh, the slow crawl account, and so I'm like trying to catch up with all of that. And then I'm also trying to get all of the patterns formatted so that they all match for the slow yarn crawl so that I can get those um, out to my shops um, because Kelly is doing our photos soon-ish and um, I know that I'm going to have to get all of the photos out to people. Uh, and Slow Yarn Crawl is coming up. We are doing Slow Yarn Crawl, and we are having both the virtual and the in-person option. So if you want to travel, and it's safe to travel for you, and you want to go in person, you can. And if it's not, you can still do the virtual option. Um, the virtual option does require some kind of purchase, because we have to have some way of knowing that you have you know, actually visited uh, the shop. But um, yeah, we're doing all kinds of fun stuff with that. And Tina will be on on Friday. She's talking about the fairy rings, um, cowls. And I think I told her she only had to knit one and she's already into her second one. So she must be having a little bit of fun with that. Um, yeah. So I'll be on again on Monday. We're going to talk about needle laces like Hardanger, Mediterranean knotted lace, um, actual needle lace, um, or something that we just call needle lace. Uh, I might talk a little bit about Romanian point lace, which is kind of a combination of crochet and needle lace. It's interesting. And then um, I'm trying to think if there's another one. There's a, at least those four, four to talk about. Yeah. Um, but there are many different kinds of needle laces. They're very interesting. So we'll talk about those on Monday. And then, like I said, I'm going to miss Wednesday because they have to put my crown back on. So we'll miss Weaving Wednesday, the last Weaving Wednesday of March. Um, but when I come back in April, maybe we'll start alternating and we'll do like spinning Wednesday and then weaving Wednesday and spinning Wednesday and then weaving Wednesday. And uh, we'll alternate for a while and do spinning and weaving on Wednesdays. And then um, Mondays, I want to get back into doing um, like how to's and demonstrations. And uh, one of those is going to be a comparison of the Olympus threads and tatting with them so you can see what those look like because hello I really want to work with those but I haven't been able to so um, that's kind of the plan there and yeah I'm sorry I don't I don't have as much today as I was hoping to because I now have to fix this problem and I moved outside so I didn't bring any of my stuff with me in order to fix it so yeah anyway does anybody have questions about like knitting or crochet or or suggestions for themed uh, videos you'd like to do, you know, you want to do like a crochet day and we go through all the different crochet stitches or, uh, actually that would be a great one for Tina, but I could do it too. I know how to do them. Uh, it's just been a while since I've crocheted. Or we could do like a color work day and we could talk about all the different ways to do color work again or, mm, I don't know. Oh, it's just very peaceful. The ducks are just eating out here. Okay, look, I'm going to let you watch the ducks again here. There we go. There's the duck ducks just hanging out. They're finding bugs. That's part of why I have them. They're my bug eaters. So they help keep the uh, insect population down here 
at Shea Kelly. And uh, I don't know, I just find it very, very enjoyable to watch them as they go to work out in the yard. Especially when they stay where they're supposed to, which is on my property and not across my highway in the neighbor's yard. Because yes, the bad duckies are doing that. I think I only have two good eggs as well, so if I'm lucky we're going to have two little ducklings um, that will hatch. And I don't know exactly what I did. Part of it could be that I didn't know how to candle properly. Or I may have kept them a little too warm or a little too cold or a little too wet or not wet enough. I don't entirely know. I'm going to try it again and I'm going to try to keep better track um, because everything I've read says that I really need to uh, be weighing my eggs because they're supposed to lose 14% of their weight by like day 24, I think. So and it's very windy here. It also makes it difficult to weave. So anyway, I know. Not quite the uh, weaving Wednesday that I had planned for you guys. Sorry about that. Um, but I don't know, I might sit out here for a little while in, in the sun after I get this stinking thread fixed and, uh, and weave for a little bit before Ina gets up. But you know, I have a whole lot of email I've got to get through today too and files I've got to deal with. So I might just give up and go work on those for a while. Again, I've been doing that all morning. All morning I've been answering emails and taking care of stuff. So, anyway. I don't know. We'll find out. My peas are starting to grow. I threw in a bunch of seeds out in the garden. So at some point we'll go take a little walkie-walkie around the garden too. Um, and I'll show you everything that I have growing out there. I put, um, I have garlic in from last fall. And then I also put in spinach and lettuce and kale and spinach and lettuce and kale and carrots and beets because I have my I have several of my um, raised beds in so I just I didn't have to do much to them I kind of fluffed the top a little bit and then threw some seeds in and hopefully it's wet enough and will continue to be wet enough that they'll keep growing and I have a ton a ton of tomatoes that came up uh, they're up in my plant room right now but unfortunately, the peppers hated me this year. So I got really, really, really bad germination rates on the peppers. Um, so I'm going to have to buy some pepper plants, which is sad. Unless my experimental um, pots on my deck come through. So I did the thing where you take the one-gallon plastic milk jugs, and you cut them in half, and you put the soil in the bottom, and your seeds in there, and then you tape the top on, and you sit them outside, and then they're just supposed to like come up when the soil warms enough and it thinks it's ready but still earlier than you would if you directly sowed them in the garden i don't know i tried it so uh, i think the celery has sprouted and the cauliflower sprouted um i don't know that i really had anything else i pretty much i put peppers in the other three jugs just as an experiment because i was having such bad germination rates on my peppers peppers hate me they never want to germinate for me. So, anyway. I don't know. We'll find out. So that's the plan. Um, I may put up some little videos of the ducklings if they actually hatch and live. Um, so that's always an issue as well. So keep watching the um, Facebook page and the Instagram account, the TikTok channel, and <laughs> the YouTube channel, and all those usual places. If you haven't already... Uh, hit that like or subscribe button on your favorite social media platform. Please do follow us. Um, I promise most days are not like today. Most days I have a much better plan and I stick to it. Um, today just sort of fell apart. I don't know, just sort of fell apart. But it's very real. So, you know, I have days like this. I'm sure you have days like this as well. But anyway, um, don't forget, Tina will be on on Friday. I'm back tomorrow, hopefully with a much better session for the Blue Caterpillar Chalette, where we're moving from stripe number two into chart number three. And um, that should be a lot of fun. So feel free to uh, hop on and check that out. I need to put a picture up because I am through stripe, tr stripe two, so you can see uh, what I chose to do. And um, yeah, yeah. Don't forget to shop at Black Sheep Fiber Emporium as well for all of your crafting needs, or at least some of them. Help us out a little bit. 
Um, we have a lot of inventory right now. We brought in a lot of stuff from Japan. So if you're looking for a sashiko kit or uh, some tatting thread, then we can probably help you out because we kind of wanted it, so we bought some. And we also ordered, um, although it's not in yet, a bunch of uh, lace from Handmaiden out of Canada. And what did I get? I think I got mostly... I think I got the silk lace this time, not the sea lace. I got the lace, the silk lace. So anyway, that's coming at some point. Um, I don't know exactly when, but at some point. So anyway, thanks for hanging out with me for a little bit, uh, even though today was kind of a messy day. And um, I will see you all next Monday. And then remember, I ha I'll be skipping Wednesday and Monday, but then I'll be back the following Wednesday. So that should be what April 7th. Should be back April 7th. So um, because again, they have to they have to glue my crown back on on March 31st. And then um, the following Monday, I'm going to be up at my mom's because, you know, well, we all had COVID. So now we're going to go. Ina and I are going to go visit uh, grandma and grandpa and the cousins and uh, aunt and uncle and and go see everybody. So anyhow, Alrighty, take care. Um, what do I always say? Make sure that you are um, taking care of yourself physically, um, physically, mentally, emotionally, and craftually. I like that last one. And that you're doing some kind of craft every day. I am going to do a little bit of crafting today, even though I have a ton to do on, on my laptop. So many emails to answer and so many files to fix. Um, but I am going to craft for a little bit and I'm going to fix this darn thread, which prevented me from having a proper weaving Wednesday with all of you. Uh, so that's on the list as well. And, and I love how like my hair decided, to, oh, well, it's just, it's just been like a cluster of a video. I'll tell you right now. Anyway, um, until next time, do please take care of yourself. Remember to wear your mask, wash your hands, um, use your sanitizer if you can't, physically distance, just be careful and be safe because I really want you to be here for all of my videos in the future. So you got to take care of yourself so that you can come back and say hi to me again. All right, until Monday when we talk about needle laces, I will see you later, but don't forget Tina's on on Friday. All right, bye guys.